Thomas, what is happening? <laughs> Thomas, it is some, I mean, kind of, sort of. <laughs> well, it was so cold outside today. It took a little bit uh, of time to heat the garage up for the workout. So I feel like, you know, I do it in style, <laughs> but not really. This was just at the top of the uh, clothes pile. <laughs> How's it going, crew? Let's get into some fitness today. I'm sure, I don't know what the temperature is like where you guys are, but uh, Tennessee is unseasonably cold today, but I just heated the garage up, so we should be uh, ready to move in no time. <laughs> what, Thomas, you think? No. Is that true? I mean, it's from like a sports company, kind of, right? I don't know. But I trust you. It's right. We have a fun prehab warm up on the agenda today. Then we have a body weight or minimal equipment workout, both of which will be quite fun. I had a fun workout with uh, Alex and his family came through Tennessee yesterday, and we did uh, a 20 minute EMOM episode, meaning every minute on the minute. We did a 150 meter run. No, I take it back. We did, we started with sandbag cleans. 10 sandbag cleans, 12 to 15 calorie ski, 10 sandbag, no, 15 sandbag squats, 150 meter run. No, backwards. We went 12 cal ski, 10 cleans, 150 meter run, 10 squats. Cause I put the machine before the movement cause I wanted to make the movement harder. So there, <laughs> Thomas, long time no see. Yay, Erica, heck yes. Oh, you guys said the rain's coming to you guys now. Thomas, Willie, how's it going? Erica, how's it going? How are you guys feeling today? Oh my gosh, Willie, two hours shoveling snow today. So you've got your, uh, your workout and your prehab rehab in. Little bear's laying on my feet. I put her in her jacket even though the garage is warm now. Aria, how's it going? Diana, Diana, tell everyone about your hang today. Diana had a massive, massive, we've been doing our hangs on Mondays. Oh my Lanta, so awesome. We still have to do it as, as a group, Diana, so we can be cheering you on. We'll probably get like 17 minutes. <laughs> nice, Ray. Way to get it done. He just came from a five mile walk in 30 degree wind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bigger Troy, I know that. Thank you. I appreciate the reminder. It's always a good thing to be reminded of. Oh, I know, Erica. I've been taking naps to uh, try to rebound from time change. You don't feel like it should be that big of a deal, you know? What did you guys do for fitness today? Diana, how long was the hang for? Another PR. She had another PR. It's so awesome. We've been doing hangs for our uh, shoulder health and just grip strength in general, and it's just a great challenge to work on. Gosh, three sets. She did 90 seconds. Two minutes and five seconds and two minute and 13 seconds. That is incredible, Diana. Oh, Willie, no car today. Well, the charger knows that it doesn't want to go out in wet snow, Willie. So it's really, it's probably just a special setting. <laughs> it wants to keep you indoors for that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's always fun, Thomas. Nice, Erica. Well, so today, so typically we'll start out with Mayhem Athlete 30. And you guys hear me say over and over again, if you need awesome daily programming, they have tracks for competitive athletes, body weight workouts, everyday athletes, hero workouts. There's so much to choose from. So check out mayhemathlete.com if you need good daily programming. Usually we start with a Mayhem Athlete 30 workout. Uh, today, we're kind of doing a version of one. I liked the Mayhem Athlete um, 30 workout, so it's still going to be running and have some core in it. A little bit of core, but then I went crazy, you know. Making it um, a core, a little bit of a core and press day, let's put it that way. Um, but I just, uh, so it does have running, 
and some core in it. I just added a lot of other things. <laughs> you know how that goes. But it's going to be a good workout. And the other workout, the May Mallet 30 workout was, I believe it was a combination of shuttle runs. So that's always good to work on that dynamic change of direction and sit-ups and shuttle runs and V-ups, uh, which is an awesome combo. It's hard to, I can't really shuttle run in here too, so that's also why I changed it. Ooh, Thomas, that is going to make it fun. Oh, thank you, Diana. Thomas said I shouldn't sweat in it. <laughs> uh, Thomas, what have you done for your workout today? Oh, Thomas, after the lunges. So, you guys, I've been so crazy busy the last couple of days, but I'm here making it happen. Uh, so, we did our 20 minute of lunge challenge. And it's funny because I really thought, you know, my quads would be sore, Thomas. And it was weird stuff. It was more like my my calves were sore for some reason. I think it was like a combination of a week, but it was really fun. I'm excited about that. Wow, that's awesome, Ray. Eight marathons. That's huge. I've not run a marathon. I've run like probably 22 miles in training, but not a, not a full. Congratulations. That's awesome. Oh, uh, I know. I get that, Willie. Will you have to look at it yourself, or what will you do to get it going again? Diana, huge accomplishment on hang. That is amazing. <laughs> Maria, how is the coffin after the 20 minutes of lunges? Oh, my gosh. Thomas, my triceps from the dips were wrecked for days. Like, I went to yoga, and, like, you know, they, they chowed around us. So you have to bring your body to the ground. I just was collapsing. I looked like someone was taking a bat as I was going down every time in yoga and just titting my arms out from underneath me. I was so sore from the dips. And then my calves and my butt was sore from, we did our 20 minute lunge challenge. So, I mean, the end of last week, I felt very special. Oh, you're doing Irish soda bread. Oh, I wish it was a silly Eilish could stop by. Steak fajitas, yum, Maria. I am doing Taco Tuesday today too. I'm doing barbecue taquitos. Pretty excited about that. So I know we're gonna keep the lunges going. I do want to do the uh, farmers carry. I feel like Diana, you'd put, you could probably farmers carry and not put it down for the entire 20 minutes with your grip strength. <laughs> oh, what do you put on your fajitas, Aria? And Willie, what are you making with the Irish soda bread? Irish soda bread is so good. This is like perfect weather for that. Good with chili and stuff too. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense, Willie. Dealership fixing it up. Okay, so let's do the darn thing, guys. What? No, Thomas. He said he did 20 minutes of farmer's carry, 25 pounds yesterday, and never set it down. For real? I can't even fathom that. Clearly, I need some grip work. <laughs> or actually, I think you guys are just really exceptional. But you guys know that. You know that how I feel about that. You guys are awesome. All right, guys, so let's talk about our prehab warm-up today. So you guys hear me say over and over again, we always do a prehab workout, basically make our warm-up something that's going to help our longevity in fitness in what we're doing so we feel good and we can move well for a long time. So have a fun little dumbbell or body weight prehab today. So I am going to show you the dumbbell really quick, then we're going to go back. I'm going to show the body weight, and then I'm going to do the dumbbell version with you guys. So Prehab is going to be two times through. It's going to be a little bit different today, gang. So something new. I'm trying to keep it interesting for you guys. A variety of spices, Aria. Oh, yay. I do try to make uh, homemade seasonings, Aria, too, like the taco seasoning, uh, homemade ranch seasoning, Italian seasoning. So uh, you don't have, like, the – I don't like putting the – like, having the fake stuff in it that you buy from the store. Like the extra um, – I don't believe additives are the right word, but fillers. They put a lot of fillers. Um, so try to reduce those. But I'd love to hear about your seasonings. She puts chipotle peppers, garlic, lime juice, brown sugar, rice vinegar, hot sauce, cilantro, and soy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna screenshot that because that sounds fantastic. You just said like all of my favorite flavors. Cooking crazy. Did you just see uh, what Aria puts in her fajitas? Sounds amazing. Cooking crazy, what are you cooking today? Ooh, Willie's making corned beef this weekend. Heck yes. All right, guys. So, I keep talking about vanilla. So, I'm going to just mention real quick 
what our dumbbell prehab warm up is going to be, and then I'm going to discuss our body weight warm up, and then I'm going to do the dumbbell warm up with you. So, our prehab warm up. Hey, it's looking crazy. How have you been? We've missed you. Prehab warm up with a dumbbell. We're going to do 30 seconds of a dumbbell waiter hold. So, it's basically just an overhead dumbbell hold. So what we're doing now, guys, is we're going to be working on that core strength, that shoulder strength. And you know I like to do single dumbbell work and body weight work to just be working on helps your body, helps you figure out if you have any imbalances in your body and trains each side specifically, which is cool. So again, we're going to do this 30 second waiter hold. So I want you to be strong in that shoulder. You hear me say active shoulders all the time. So you're going to press to the sky, keeping that core nice and tight. We're not going to arch our back here. We're going to take our tailbone under. Just a nice, strong athletic stance there. We're gonna do 30 seconds of that. And you'll really, really feel that opposite side working while you're doing that 30 second waiter hold. And realize this dumbbell warm up, we're gonna do all on the right side, all of these movements, and we're gonna do all on the left side. So it's all gonna to work together. You know I love compounding workouts and compounding movements. So this is gonna make you feel good, really nice and warmed up for the workout. So you're gonna go from 30 second of that waiter hold, it's really just an overhead dumbbell hold. Then you're going to go right into a 30 second suitcase hold. So then I'm gonna bring that dumbbell down by my side. You're gonna feel your body wanting to work towards that weight, but you're gonna to have to work against that opposition to stay nice and tall. So again, that core nice and tight, trying to get you to stay nice and upright here for that 30 seconds. Then we're gonna immediately go into that half kneeling press. So we're gonna drop into that half kneeling stance. I'm gonna have that left shin nice and vertical and I'm going to be pressing that dumbbell, squeezing that bicep to my ear for 10 reps. At this point, you are really, really gonna be feeling it on the left side body. And uh, guys, this is gonna help you get rid of any imbalances or find where they are at so you can work through them to get better, <laughs> meaning feel better. <laughs> then after your 10 half kneeling press, you're gonna go into 10 upright row. Usually I have you guys, well, actually that's where we are. So upright row today, we're gonna to do lat engagement. We're gonna be working on that bigger muscle group. So upright row, I'm gonna change this to bent row, just so you guys know, I like that better. We're fixing that combo right now. <laughs> so you're gonna find that catch your breath position. So if your hands are on your knees, then you're gonna bring that dumbbell back to your hip for 10 reps. I'm gonna encourage you guys to start with something really, really light, light dumbbell today. And then you're gonna go into 10 dumbbell swings. I'm sure you've heard of a kettlebell swing. Dumbbell swing is the same idea. You're just gonna grab that dumbbell, hand over hand, and swing overhead for 10 swings. So basically, you're getting that upper body and that low back ready to rock and roll for our workout. It's just gonna be a really, really fun prehab. So you're gonna do all of that on the right side and then all on the left side, uh, excluding the swings, because that's both hands. <laughs> I know Coach Bear's in her little red um, riding bear dog outfit right now. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, Diana, I hope so. I hope it's helping. All right, so let's talk about if you do not have a dumbbell or you just want to do the body weight version of prehab today, what that is going to look like. So we're going to start with that Now it's super toasty in here. <laughs> we have extra toasty. All right, so how we are going to do the body weight prehab is going to be 30 seconds of plank shoulder taps. So you're still going to be working on the different sides there, basically. So I like to have my feet nice and wide when I do these for extra balance. You're just going to be alternating, tapping those shoulders, trying to keep that pelvis neutral still. We're not trying to twist on that. So you're having to use that core and alternating sides, tapping the shoulders. And you're gonna go right into 30 second side plank. Right and then left. So this one isn't all right and all left. This one is combined together, just so you know. So you're gonna have 30 second plank on the right. I mean, heck, so you know, really if you have extra time to do pretty heavy, you can do both of these. So no problem. You want that elbow right underneath that shoulder. And you're going to drive those hips up to the sky in 30 seconds. If this is too much for you or you have shoulder stuff, you can switch it up for you and give you an adjustment. But you can also drop that back foot if that's too much. You're going to go 30 seconds on the right. And you're going to flip over 30 seconds on the left. So your core is going to be 
screaming, rocking and rolling by that point. Then you're going to go into five inch one. So you'll have those feet nice and wide. You're going to walk out into that front position again. Shoulders and core are going to be nice and warm. And you're going to do a push up. And if you need to, you can drop those knees to the ground. Just make sure you're not sticking that booty out in the air. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> And when you do that inchworm push up, you're going to bring those elbows back towards you. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to go into that. I know. I know you all feel. I know. Then you're going to go into your 30 second hinge stretch, which is basically the precursor to 30 seconds of hanging. So you guys have heard me explain this at the public place that you have a ledge or a bar or something like that. You're just gonna have your hands on that ledge. You're gonna walk those feet out underneath those hips and you're gonna drop that hip through the window with your arms nice and straight. Really, really opening up that shoulder girdle. And if you have a post or a pole, you can even drop your weight into that right leg, drop your weight into that left leg a little on each side and you'll feel just a little extra lat stretch on either side. So that would be your prehab if you're doing the body weight version or you don't have a dumbbell bag. Or if you want to do both, bonus points, team. Bonus points. All right, I know that's a mouthful. Hi in Holland. That's awesome. My long, long relatives long ago are from there. <laughs> All right, crew. I'll catch up. I know, Coach Bear just, oh, she's uh, picking up running as I, or laying on the runner. <laughs> oh, Bear. Oh, thank you, Diana. She says thank you. A little red riding dog, trying to keep her warm. <laughs> I know. Ooh, Aria, enjoy your bodybuilding. Thank you, Willie. Whoop, that is really getting us started today. Willie, I was just about to ask, as I was going through that, I'm like, I must uh, refer to Willie to get us started today. All right, guys, so we're going to start with this prehab. You guys are going to go two times through. We're going to see how long this first time takes to get through because I have such a fun workout on the agenda. Uh, but even if I just demonstrate prehab, I want you guys to make sure you get all the rounds, prioritize that because we want you to feel good and stay healthy while you're doing this. Sometimes I'll do a round with you beforehand and then a round after, after our live is off and finish up that way. Ooh. Okay, Willie, I'm gonna have to check it out. Done in an hour. All right, team. So I'm going to do the dumbbell prehab warm up or at least a piece of it with you to get started today. So this is going to be a good one. I'm excited about this. I've been excited about this all day. You know, when you love fitness so much, you get so excited about prehab. Diane, you're doing this a long way. Will, you're going to do this in an hour. <laughs> you're probably wrecked in a good way, like fitness wise from uh, shoveling for two hours. Although you're very fit, Willie, so maybe not. Maybe you're impermeable to uh, snow shoveling, <laughs> being tired from snow shoveling. It is for sure. I love exercise balls. Great for balance. All right, guys. So let's start with this 30-second stretch timer. I need one of these like size ginormous guys. Did everyone have a good weekend? I missed you guys. It's been so crazy busy, but we're going to get um, lots of fitness in this week. And we have three birthday workouts to make up this week. Jules, Dean, and Gary. So if they're up for birthday workouts, we're going to be on it. Hey, yes, Diana, let's go. Keep doing the warm-up, the pre-ab. Can't wait. After, oh my gosh, yesterday, PRing the uh, hang. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> really, I bet. Like, do you, I mean, how do you balance that? Because I'm sure you get sweaty, but it's also freezing cold outside. Cooking crazy. Did I miss what you're cooking tonight? You always cook such wonderful, oh my gosh, such wonderful things. Oh, Thomas, have a good day. I missed it. Oh, grilling tonight. Every piece will be its own adventure. Okay, I love that. All right, here we go. We're going to start with our 30 second. So we're a dumbbell hold. Some people call it a waiter hold. There's lots of different names for it, but I'm going to start with my right side, guys. Or if you're doing the body weight version, 
you guys know that's starting with the shoulder tap. So again, I'm thinking about squeezing that bicep towards my ear, keeping that core tight, not arching that back at all. I have a shoulder with distance stance. So about 15 seconds in. And then following this, we call it waiter carry. Although I don't know that I've seen many waiters holding it through this high. But <laughs> we're gonna go right into that. It's basically the dumbbell farmer's carry hold. So again, you're gonna feel your body wanting to drop pull towards the direction of that dumbbell, but we wanna use our core, keep that spine nice and neutral for that 30 seconds. Like I said, guys, you'll feel the other side of that body working and your core working as well. So we'll have 30 seconds here. And then we're gonna drop into that half kneeling press and go to our bent row. All right, we have about three, two, one. Then we're gonna go half kneeling press. So I have a dumbbell in my right hand. I have my left foot forward. I'm gonna have that shin nice and vertical. Again, guys, I wanna think about keeping that core nice and tight and being upright here. When I say core tight, that means don't arch that back. Again, I don't have a lighter dumbbell other than really, really light here. So uh, pick a dumbbell weight that is, I mean, very, very light to moderate because this is about form, warm up, rehab. And if you only have a heavy dumbbell like me, you can do less reps. Whatever you need to do here, but I want you to think again, squeeze that bicep to your ear, press that dumbbell straight up. I want that dumbbell path to be a straight line to the sky. If you're pushing it out in front of you or out to the side, I want you guys to again think, squeeze that, that bicep to that ear because we want that path nice and straight. We're going to be doing some push presses if you're doing minimal equipment today, but we're trying to stay in control of that dumbbell path. That's the most efficient. That's the safest for your shoulders. I'm not sure what number I'm on. So I'm going to say that's eight to 10 on that. And then we're going to go into the 10 dumbbell bent over rows and 10 dumbbell swings. Then we're going to switch to that left side. So for the bent rows, I always say it's like I switch from up right to bent. I like bent. I was looking for that lat engagement for us. A little bit of pull here, and then we'll have a little bit of basically pull with that swing. So best dumbbell row position for today is going to be like you're catching your breath with your hands on your knees. I'm going to have that back nice and flat. And when I grab that dumbbell, notice I'm not pulling it up close to my shoulder and chicken winging my shoulder out and pinching that shoulder girdle. I'm going to be bringing that dumbbell back to my hip. So find that nice flat back position bring that dumbbell back to that hip because I'm trying to engage the lats here. Wake up the big muscle groups before we get this workout started. And if you find yourself having to use momentum to get this dumbbell to your hip, then drop down and wait just for the sake of the prehab warm up. So again, you'll have eight to 10 there. Like I said, hopefully you have a light to moderate dumbbell. Oh, Diana, totally. That would probably, I would probably be using a 15 as well. Yeah. I had a 15, I need to get some. <laughs> Ooh, yum. <laughs> Sounds fabulous. All right, guys, then we are going to go, I do somewhere, I think, Bram. All right, now we have 10 swings and then we'll move on to that left side. So. You can be dumbbell or kettlebell. You can do this uh, prehab warm up with the kettlebell as well. Uh, I would just be adjusting your wrist and hand positions a little bit. But for your dumbbell swings, very similar to the kettlebell swing. We just want to bring that dumbbell all the way overhead if you're able. So we'll have 10 swings and we're going to move on to that left side. So you'll go through that two times. So right and left side equals one time through. If I do too many reps here or less, it's because I was talking and counting. Great job, guys. Nice job, Diana. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on the left. And you guys will have that two times through. Then I will explain our body weight workout and our minimal equipment workout. Yeehaw. 
let's do the darn thing, gang. All right, so, Diana, how's it feeling? You feeling that side body working for this three hour? Is it a red riding dog? All right, so we're going to start with that overhead dumbbell hold for a waiter carry. Very skilled waiter with the dumbbell. Or there, <laughs> they just pray this high. Ah. So, again, guys, you don't want to be swaying to one side, trying to lock that bicep in by that ear. We're keeping that chin. Fine, nice and neutral. I have about 10 seconds here, and we're going to go right into that farmer's carry hold on the same side. So we're on the left right now for 30 seconds. Two, one, 30 second farmer's hold. Again, not creating any angles with that body. You want to keep stay nice and upright here. Try not to arch the back. Just have a uh, hip width distance. Stance, whatever your athletic strong stance is for you. We just don't want you to be compensating. You feel that core working against that dumbbell on the one side. It's the beauty of the single dumbbell work. So three, two, one. Now we're gonna drop that dumbbell down. We're gonna have that right foot forward, that left leg and knee back on the ground. Hey, and me too, yay! I love pre <laughs> And then we're going to go into our bent row and our swing. So this time, since we're moving to the left side, I have that right leg forward. And again, heard me say before, you want that core tightening, you know, arching that back, squeezing that dumbbell to the ear, keeping that path, path nice and straight. So, you know, I tell you guys, you're gonna feel this on the opposite side body. So I'm pressing with my left arm and I'm really, really, honestly, I can tell that for whatever reason, my right side is more tired or tight today. I can feel my right side really, really working here. You're gonna have eight to 10 reps. I'd like you to have a light enough dumbbell that you can do 10 reps. All I have is my 35. So I'm hoping I got to eight there. <laughs> now we're gonna go into those 10 bent rows and 10 swings. Larry, how are you? Larry, how was your weekend? So, for those bent rows, again, hands on the knees like you're catching your breath. You know that dumbbell on the right side, and we're going to be pulling that dumbbell back to the hip. I'm not falling into my knees here, I'm really just resting that hand there. And again, bring that dumbbell to the hip using the lat. Like I said, you guys, I want you to use a dumbbell where you're not having to use any momentum, meaning you're trying to like jerk that dumbbell up. We want to strict that dumbbell here. So you'll have eight to 10 reps there. And last but not least, you're going to have those 10 dumbbell swings. Again, you can do this whole thing with a kettlebell. If you are, just let me know. Just a couple little tweaks here and there, just with your hand and wrist position, most likely. All right, whatever hand you had over top on the dumbbell for the swings on the last set, switch it up for this set. So 10 swings. Trying to bring that dumbbell up and the head. Great job, guys. Nice work, Diana. Nine. And 10. All right, so you're going to have one more time through on the right and on the left. Don't skip your prehab, gang. Like I said, a lot of times I'm going to go through one set with you, and I always, whatever I miss, if I'm going through the workout with you guys, just for the sake of time for you guys, I always finish with it and make sure I do exactly what I'm mentioning for you guys to do. <laughs> oh, yay, Willie. Willie and Diana currently doing the prehab. Heck yes. So they're gonna have one more time through. I'm gonna finish my last set through after because I'm gonna go through these workouts. It's gonna take a quick second to go through our body weight and minimal equipment versions. Willie, Diana, I'm proud of you. Keep it up. <laughs> Balake, what is happening? How are you? How was your weekend? 
Larry, it was good. It was just really, really busy. Like I said, and it was, it's been cold this week so far, but I'm thankful. The garage is nice and toasty now. A lot to be thankful for. <laughs> All right, team. So, Diana Willie, keep moving through that prehab. You guys are crushing it. We have body weight and dumbbell prehab today. So, you can choose or a million gold stars if you do both. <laughs> but you guys already feel my low back working. I could tell, uh, my left, now my right side, well, oddly enough, it's funny because your dominant hand, I'm right hand dominant. My opposite side, <laughs> my left side felt good. My right side felt definitely tired today. So something I really, really enjoy about the single dumbbell work is you can pinpoint that where you might uh, need some extra TLC stretching mobility wise. Willie, I love it. Willie says he can't resist prehab. <laughs> I dig it. You guys are awesome. All right, one more time through Diana, Willie on that other side. And feel free to do the body weight one too. It's a fun one. And it's a sne more sneaky core. All of those holds are core also, which we love. We love sneaky core, meaning holding those dumbbells, stabilizing those things as well as body weight is going to be an ab workout. Who doesn't like an ab workout? All right, guys, I'm going to throw on the screen the minimal equipment workout. Uh, just so you can see it real quick, and then I'm going to go through the body weight workout and then back through minimal, and I'm going to do that along with you guys. So we are going to have an 800-meter run buy-in. So I tried to incorporate the running in the core because, like I said, sometimes, a lot of times, most times, we start with our Mayhem Athlete 30. We're just mixing it up a little bit today, making it a little bit longer. So we're going to have an 800-meter run buy-in. So... If you do not have a place to run, you can do high knees. We usually do about one minute for 200 meters of high knees, but I'm trying to mix that up today and say, you'll do one minute of high knees. So if you do not have a place to run 800 meters, you can do one minute of high knees, and then you're gonna go one minute of skater. So a skater is basically a lateral hop on a one foot. So I'd be hopping to that right foot and tapping that left foot behind. I know you probably can't see me. Get up the words. So I'd be hopping, hopefully have a little bit wider space. If I hop to my right, I'll be bringing that left foot behind me almost like a curtsy. And then I'm transitioning. So right, bring that left foot behind me and vice versa like so. You can either you can make it a little more dynamic and tap the ground with that opposite foot. So for instance, if I'm hopping to my right foot, and I'm bringing that left leg behind, I can tap the ground with that left hand. So then if I hop left foot, right foot behind, I bring that right hand to the ground. So you can make it a little more dynamic if you want. You go from one minute of high knees, one minute of skaters, one minute of high knees, one minute of skaters. So you'd have four minute total for your buy-in if you do not have a place to run. After your 800 meter buy-in, you are going to go to the top of the very next minute. So if you finish at, well, if you're doing four minutes, um, let's put it this way. If you're doing four minutes instead of the 800 meter run, you won't have the luxury of the next to the top minute. You're just going to start that EMOM. If you want, I guess you could throw in a one minute break. Up to you. <laughs> but I'll give you options there. Give you a little freedom to make that decision. But then we're going to go into that EMOM. But if you're doing your 800 meter run, whenever you finish, that, you're going to have the top until the top of the next minute to get ready for that EMOM. And it's going to be a 15 minute EMOM or five sets. EMOM meaning every minute on the minute. So you're going to do that amount of work and the remainder of that minute will be rest. For instance, our minute one is going to be 12 to 16. I'm giving you a range. Uh, so you can have at least, I would say, 10 to 15 seconds rest. But if you're comfortable with the next movement, you can go all the way up to about three to five seconds rest. But ideally, we'd like around 10 seconds rest. You're going to go 12 to 16 push breath. Um, well, I guess we're this far, so I'm just going to go through this with you since we're here. We'll go through body weight next. So we've already been explaining. So your push press is going to be a dip and drive. So a strict press means you're not using any of that momentum from your dip and drive. Your push press, I'm going to dip and drive those dumbbells overhead. You're going to be in the prehab, 
talk about keeping that dumbbell pack nice and straight. That's what we're going to be looking for. So you're going to power clean those dumbbells up and your push press is a dip and dry. So you're going to have 12 to 16 reps on minute one. Then minute two, you are going to have burpee box jumps or burpee box step ups. Or if you've got a chair, you use a chair. as I can here. So, here we're going to have to move down a little bit. But anyway, girl, I'm going to move this once we get going. But your birthday, you can jump back or step back a little bit. Here, I'm going to move this runner. And then you're going to hop up and you can jump up or step up to that box. For your burpee box or burpee box step ups, you're gonna have six to eight of those in that minute. And then minute three is going to be 12 to 16 sit up to press. So your sit up to press, guys. Is going to be. My map, I need to make a little more room here, okay? But I'll do that in a second. So, it's going to be like your regular sit-up, guys. I'm going to have those heels, knees up, heels closer to my booty. I'm going to sit up with that dumbbell, and then I'm going to press that dumbbell up. It comes back down. So, holding that dumbbell, sit up, and press up. So, you'll have 12 to 16 sit up to press. You guys know I like to keep those numbers. <laughs> Trying to go 16, 8, 16, or 12, 6, 12. So once you complete that EMOM, again, then you're going to get back out on that run or go into that 40, 40, oh goodness, four minutes of high knees alternating with skaters, meaning one minute high knee, one minute skater, one minute high knee, one minute skater, or your run cash out. So again, how this works, you're gonna do 800 meters in the beginning, 800 meter run. Then you're gonna go into a 15 minute EMOM. Minute one is gonna be 12 to 16 push press. Minute two, six to eight burpee box jump. Mini, minute three, 12 to 16 sit up to press. And then as soon as you're finished, you're gonna head back out for another 800 meter run for that high knee skater combo. Now let's talk about our body weight version, guys. Oh, you played in a golf tournament. Blake, how'd you guys do? Thanks, Larry. I know, she's like, I'm like, I'm gonna have to move that thing in a minute. And you're nice and cozy. Okay, so we're gonna do that. In your cozy town, bud. <laughs> she's like, me, move? What are you talking about, lady? Yay, Willie, nice job on the prehab. Diana, are you done with your prehab? Yay, Erica, it's gonna be a fun one. I'm excited about this. So body weight version, guys, we have that four minute buy-in and cash out. Like I said, a buy-in and a cash out means you're doing a specific amount of work, whether it be a run or something beforehand and after. So our buy-in is that same four minutes we just explained. One minute high knee, one minute skater, one minute high knee, one minute skater, or you can do the 800 meter run if you have a place to run. After that, you're going to go right into your 15-minute EMOM, meaning every minute on the minute. And minute one is going to be 12 to 16 push-up or inverted push-up. Your regular push-up, you're going to be in that plank position. Or if you're in that plank position and drop the knees, you can do that too. You just want to see bring those elbows back, not flail out like chicken wing, touch that chest to the ground and walk those elbows out. Again, you can do that in the plank position too. Or you can do the inverted push-up which is basically the bear crawl. This is also good if you're working on it, trying to get a handstand push-up, or it's also kind of like similar to your inchworm foot stance. So I'm on my feet out like I'm doing an inchworm and I'm gonna walk those hands out and I wanna think of an invisible triangle from my head to my hands. So where my head touches the ground is gonna be the tip of the triangle in my hands. Same idea with the push-up though, I'm bringing those elbows back, touching the top of the head to the ground. 
and pressing back up. And feel free to adjust the reps accordingly so that you have, again, about 10 seconds rest. So even if you're only doing four of those inverted push-ups, that's completely fine. Ooh, back for, you're doing squats. Are you doing the um, two, four, six, eight, ten? I did those yesterday. Those were oh, good. <laughs> How is the bodybuilding today? All right, guys, so minute one, push-up or inverted push-up. Minute two, similar to what you saw, it's going to be that burpee box torture. Step up so you can step back or jump back. Touch your chest to the ground. Step up or jump up. And you are going to step on that box or chair for your step up. Four sets of six at eight. To, ooh, that's, uh, that's feisty area. <laughs> well, it must be nice to be back out playing, though, Blake, right? <laughs> it's also just fun to be on the golf course. <laughs> All right, so minute one, we have that push-up or inverted push-up. Minute two is going to be six to eight burpee box step-ups. And then minute three is going to be a sit-up to a Russian twist. So you are going to do your sit up with the knees on the floor, and then you're going to take those hands and tap them right and left. You can elevate those feet. Well, you do that if you want. Sit up, elevate those feet, tap right, tap left. That's one rep. So that is your sit up, two reps and push. And then once you're finished with that 15 minutes, kind of close in there, bud. After you finish with that 15 minutes you're going to go right back into another 800 meter run or that four minutes of high knees and skaters. So, so many options today, guys. But in my opinion, they look really fun. <laughs> I'm excited to do this with you guys. So I'm going to do the minimal with you guys today. But let me know if you guys do the body weight or minimal and how it goes. Oh, 40 and raining. Wow. Like, that's called commitment to your golf tournament. <laughs> that's a different ball game. 40 and raining, just because it was like 30s here this morning. And uh, it got up to 40. Even walking the dog in 40, it was pretty chilly. That is awesome, Maria. She said she's um, switched it up from classic CrossFit and seeing all the strength gains. And so she's doing the mayhem bodybuilding, I believe, Maria. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but you guys, it is really, really good for the body to mix things up too. And the cool thing about CrossFit is it's so dynamic that, you know, at any given time you can be working at the aerobic side of things, the aerobic capacity. You can be working on strength, Olympic weightlifting. You could be like a real working on bodybuilding. You can be working on gymnastics. But sometimes it's just good to, you know, mix it up. The body is keeping the body guessing to me is very very effective in achieving your fitness goals because the body is an incredible machine and it knows how to adapt so keeping it guessing is good <laughs> keeping it guessing while integrating your prehab and you know that comes from my heart my special place of us uh feeling good while we do this for a long time that's good aria definitely did you listen to the huberman podcast uh or yes with his um discussions with andy galpin Super interesting conversation on fitness and, and their protocols protocols as well. I know, Rhea, it's so great. Mayhem gives you so many different options. So you can really, really, all of the things I just discussed, you can really branch out and, and focus on one thing. You know, some people are trying to focus on all of the things at once. But something I realized from, I mean, I think I've done CrossFit for crazy enough, like 13 years now. <laughs> um, is when we did it way back then, it was not nearly as progressed as it is right now. So we were forced into spending periods of time working on just one thing because it, you know, gymnastics didn't get it progressed as we want over the years. So there were years where we were mainly focused on weightlifting and then something new in gymnastics would come up and then we'd focus on gymnastics. Then we'd focus on cardio. So, I mean, it was, uh, it was fun to progress that way. So I'm always so amazed how everyone can balance all of those things at one time now. It's so incredible. I know, Aria. Like, I want to go back and listen and take notes. And I'm like, there are hours. I got to make more time to take more notes. The Huberman Lab podcast, if you guys haven't listened to it, is, is exceptional. You learn so much. 
All right, team. So we are nice and warmed up, hopefully from your prehab and going through these workouts. Oh, we'll bring your faces at you. You want me to scratch it for you, bud? All right. So again, I'm going to do the minimal equipment version with you guys, which is that 800 meter run buy-in or that four minute combination of high knees and skaters. And then whenever you finish that 800 meter run, you can take the top of that next minute to start your 15 minute EMOM, because I know you're going to need a clock for that. Um, unless you're getting the four minute buy-in, then you can just rock and roll right into it. <laughs> uh, but then you're going to go to that 15 minute, every minute on the minute push press. Minute two is box jump, burpee box jump. Minute three is sit up to press. And then you're going to finish with that 800 meter run cash out. Any questions, team? <laughs> Larry, no kidding. Little Bear's like, why did you put me in this jacket? She doesn't love the jacket. But then she'll come out here and shiver, and I can't handle that. And she's just too cute. I know, uh, Ria. I listened to the water one the other day, and uh, what was the one that started today? What was he talking about? Oh, my gosh, I've listened to so many so <laughs> recently. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to switch up uh, this butter just a little bit, guys, because I have more room to box jump. A little sketchy here, but we're gotta do what you gotta do with space, right? Like, you said it up for me. How about I set up another bench for you then? All right, guys, we're almost ready. They're so patient. So, again, I'm going to shoot for my 16 to 8, 16 rep scheme, but uh, I gave you guys a ballpark of anywhere from 12 to 16 on the push press, 6 to 8 on the burpee box jump. And 12 to 16 on the sit up to press. But again, it's an EMOM. The beauty of that is you can adjust the reps. Oh, uh, she, Valentina, loves to wear dresses. That's Diana's little Yorkie. Oh, Erica's ready to rock and roll. See, Erica? We had a nice, good, long warm up. Oh, Willie, it's so good. Willie's reading Forever Young by Mark Hyman. He's an exceptional resource, too. I pre-ordered Peter Atia's book too, guys. I'm so excited about it. Oh, Aria, it was uh, Sashin Panda, however you say his name, was with you women today. He's the guy that um, really was a pioneer of intermittent fasting. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let me make sure I have this set up. So 16 push press. Six eight burpee box jumps and my sit up to press is going to be here. Okay, trying to make it all all fit, guys. <laughs> we do what we can. Any other questions, gang? Are we good to go? All right, that should work there. Erica, you ready? Try to get this in here. All right, team. Any questions before we get started? Remember, 800 meter run, 15 minute EMOM, or five sets. And 800 meter run. Depending on time, Erica, I might reset the clock because math after that first run, but we will see. 
you know, because math. <laughs> I mean that in a good way or something like that. <laughs> Guess I could think of it as five sets too. Push press, burpee box jump, sit up. Burpee box jump, sit up. Okay. Ready, set, go, guys. Almost. Yes, Erica, I think so. All right, guys, I'm going to reset the clock and rock and roll time. Thanks for being so patient through our prehab and going through this workout. I know it was a lot, but I really care about how you guys move. I want you to move well and feel good. So that's why I go into so much detail. Press all the buttons. <laughs> uh, all right, crew. I'm going to check in for a brief second after that run. Might reset the clock. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what time frame we finish around. All right, Erica. You ready? Are oh, you ready to rumble? Or something like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be here finishing with you guys on this chilly day. Let's do it. All right, crew. Erica, we are going to start in. Uh, are you ready? First of all. <laughs> oh, you are ready. Yes. Okay. Aria, crush those squats, girl. Let us know how it goes. All right. We're starting our 800 meter run by in in 10 seconds. Erica, let's go. In three, two, one. We have the 800 meter run by you guys, or you have your four minute option of one minute of timies, one minute of skaters, one minute of timies, and one minute of skaters. We got it.
top of the next minute if you need to get that time right so about 30 seconds I'm gonna start on the five minutes you got it Erica nice job fifteen seconds so I'm gonna start at five minutes let's go Erica good job fifteen minute emo we're gonna start with our push press in ten seconds you're going to go 12 to 16 push press here in three, two, one. Remember, use the momentum of that dip and drive here, guys. At 16 guys. Nice work, Erica. So I'll have the rest of the next minute. So 15 E long or five sets. Next up is going to be the burpee box jumps. It's going to be a high heart rate one, guys. Lots of pressing today. So we're going to have eight, six to eight burpee box jumps for our minute two in 10 seconds. Nice job, Erica. Going in. Five, three, two, one. my ref team 16 8 16 is my goal also give the option of 12 6 12 in 12 press 6 burpee so sit up and go in now team starting in three sit up to press nice work guys A lot of pressing, guys. It's gonna get hard quick, so use your reps accordingly. In five seconds. In three, two, one. Starting round two. Back to that push press. And 16, 
Remember, guys, adjust your reps accordingly. This is a sneaky, sneaky pressing workout. Going from push press, burpee to press, that set up to press. So who's marker, who's reps, wisely. 15 seconds, back to our burpee box jump. 10 seconds. We're in round two right now, that's it, Erica. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Great work, guys. 13 seconds. Sit up the press in eight seconds. Five, three, two, one. And 16, 15 seconds. If that's too much pressing, guys, just go to sit up. That's totally fine, too. So if you press too much, you can just sit up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just reps, however you need to get through that minute. To your EMOM, guys. Adjust as needed. 20 seconds. Back to those burpee box jumps. Let's go, guys. You got this, Erica. 15 seconds. It's a lot of pressing. We're in our third round. Over the hump after this. 10 seconds. Of our burpee box jumps in. Five, three, two, one. Great job. 13 seconds. My car sit up and pressed. You got this. Eight seconds. Go on, Erica. We got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, we got it. 
16. Make sure, guys, your breasts are going to go straight out. Come straight out, straight up, and not out in front of you. On that side of the press. I'm going to press the double straight up. Three, two, starting round four, push press. Good break, check it out. We got it, Erica. Come on, guys. Great job, gang. There we go. 20 seconds. We got this. Burpee box show next. Almost to that last round. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice guys. Ten seconds. Sit up and press. We got this one. Press it almost straight up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. So that means straight up from there, guys. Not up. Ten seconds. We got the circle last round right here. Push press in five. Three, two, one. More sets here, guys. Come on. 40 seconds. Last round. Empty the tank here, guys. Come on. We got this. Getting strong here. 20 seconds here. Hang on. Last set. Last set of burger box jumps. Sit up and press in 10. Almost there. In 5, 3, 2, 1. Nice work, guys. Sit, Erica. 
Last time to sit up the press. Come on. Come on. Starting in five. We got the circle. Three, two, one. Press up. Straight up, guys. Nice work, guys. Three, two, one. It's the end of that evening, guys. Thank you, buddy. Trying to make that way back to that runner for those high knees and skaters, guys. You got it, team. Stay there, buddy. Stay. Stay. Whatever you have to do, you can do some shuffle. Just start with it. Start with those high knees.
Great work, team. That was uh, something. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, guys. That was a uh, great job, Erica. Erica, that was honestly probably one of the hardest ones we've done in a while. Oh, but you crushed it. High fives. Oh. So, guys. Oh, thanks, Ina. I appreciate that. Um, crew, so that is, point of today was a pushing workout, and oh boy, did we get a pushing workout. So just recognize, when you first start those, trying to get into your pushing workout with your heart rate a little bit higher, that's the, the buy-in of the run. That push press, again, you guys hear me beating the dead horse, drum, whatever you want to say, say it over and over again. Try to keep that dumbbell in that straight line. Puts extra stress on your shoulders if you leave that dumbbell path from straight above. This is your strongest pressing position. It's much harder to press from here or press out here. So make sure you choose a rep scheme or a weight that you can get through that. By the second set, it was everything is on fire and it's very brutal. So just understand you're pressing up in this plane that you're going to be pressing the push-up press for the burpee and then that sit-up to press basically taking away that core and what i was trying to tell you guys on that sit-up when you come to the top of the sit-up with that dumbbell do not press this direction again that's so much stress on the shoulders especially depending on the way dumbbell you use i want you to sit up and think about again squeezing those dumbbells pressing that dumbbell straight up i know that's hard because your core is going to be tired so understand, this is a very, very challenging workout. So pick less weight than you think you need if you are doing the dumbbell version. Or change the rep scheme up. That first round will be a very good indicator. You might get more rest. Just understand you're going to get less rest as you go because it's going to get more and more tiring as your press fatigues and as we take away that core a little bit from that sit-up. So again, you can adjust the rep scheme and maybe do 12-6-12. Uh, I did 16, 8, 16, and I was hanging on for dear life. <laughs> and I love, love, love the dumbbell. So make sure you choose the rep scheme accordingly or your weight accordingly. I promise it's going to get super challenging. And when you transition back to that run or the high knee skater, you are going to feel like you don't want to move anymore after all that pressing and that high heart rate. Just start, even if you're starting at a shuffle, even if your high knee is a march, I just want you to start to get moving. Give your body more credit for how it recovers. It will recover if you start moving slowly. A lot of times we think we need more rest. I just want you to get moving on that second run or get marching, literal march for that high knee into that cash out. I know you're going to surprise yourself. Your body's going to recover quicker than you think. Then you can pick up that pace a little. I'm not saying you need to be all out sprinting in the end, but... A slower pace will help you recover, help that heart rate settle again, and help you settle into a pace. So that's that game. <laughs> I know you got this, and I know you're going to crush this. Erica, amazing job. Oh, Willie, oh my gosh, what I would give for a piece of Irish soda bread right now. <laughs> Can you just zoom in from the snow? <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Thank you, Diana. Erica, amazing job. Tell me all about it. I know, Erica, that was... This is definitely one of the hardest uh, ones we've done in a while. That was a really tough sweat sesh gang. 15 on the push press, eight on the box jumps, sit-ups. That's, Erica, that's absolutely incredible. I literally, the last set of sit-up to press, 
<laughs> I was like, well, I, if Bear wasn't sitting there to keep me accountable for not dropping the dumbbell, oh my gosh. No, that's awesome, Erica. Like I said, this is a workout where I think, you know, a lot of times we use a uh, 35 pound dumbbell for movements here. I would 100% recommend dropping if you use 35 typically for our sweat sessions or for the man 30 or 60 or um, any of the tracks really, I would definitely probably drop down anywhere from 15 to 25 for this workout. It gets very, very challenging. It is a lot of shoulder fatigue. Erica, Willie, this crew, they work out a lot. And uh, when they say it's rough, it's a rough one. <laughs> I was uh, definitely hanging on for dear life there. <laughs> Erica, I don't know about you, but I was definitely hanging on for dear life. <laughs> oh, thanks, Larry. Larry, I always appreciate your support. You're so encouraging. It means so much to all of us. All right, gang. Taco Tuesday time. I'm going to go make some taquitos. <laughs> I was literally running into Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. You don't necessarily have to do this workout on a Tuesday. Willie, back pocket workout. But it has to be on a day that you feel really good. <laughs> this is a challenging one. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Erica, I, I definitely, that was tough. <laughs> you crushed it though. I'm so thankful you did this workout. You are awesome. All right, crew. I am so proud of you guys. Thanks for jumping on later with me today. You guys are amazing. Do you guys have any preferred uh, times and things for tomorrow? <laughs> Diana, when you start feeling better, you definitely have to do this one. Although you did the hang. So are you feeling recovered? Are you feeling better? I know you were under the weather a little bit. We're praying for your speedy recovery. <laughs> oh, Erica, I was uh, getting a little nervous on the sit-ups, but my arms were getting so fatigued. <laughs> oh, Diana, have a wonderful day. Willie, Erica, you guys are amazing. It's been pretty chilly here. I was thinking about doing it early tomorrow, but I think it's going to be in like the 20s in the morning. So I'm not going to say that just yet because I think it's going to be really cold. And even though I can heat up the garage, it's still, uh, you guys know. Well, crew. I'm so thankful for you guys. Erica, thanks for doing this workout, Willie. Crushing the prehab, Diana. Crushing the prehab and the PR on the bar, hey? Superpowers. Seriously, Diana. Superpowers. <laughs> Larry, thank you for supporting. You're so awesome. We had Balake in the house. We had Thomas in the house. Aria in here doing her bodybuilding and coming to hang. Oh, we're just thankful to have all of you all here. You guys hear me say this, and I mean this so much. You guys make every day better. So that being said, I hope it means I get to see you tomorrow. We'll be back probably in the early afternoon when it warms up a little bit here. Uh, but keep me posted on your guys' schedule. Amazing job today, guys. Yes. Okay. You're back in action, Diana. Okay. Well, let me know how it goes. Remember, it's a brutal one. So uh, <laughs> one step at a time. You got this. I know you're going to crush it, Diana. All right, crew. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Diana, Larry, Erica, Willie, Aria, crew. You guys are awesome. I will see you tomorrow.